Assalamu alaikum and a very warm welcome to the philosophy of fasting. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. All praise is due to Allah. Peace and blessings be upon Muhammad, the last prophet and the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Joining us in the studio today, we have joining us Dr. Sheikh Hadam al-Aldad. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah. Thanks for joining us in the studio today. Jazakallah khair, brother. We're so pleased to have you. We're explaining the benefits and everything regarding the philosophy of fasting. What does the Quran say about fasting? What are the benefits of fasting, Sheikh? And obviously, you've done extensive research, and this is your, your work. So I'd like to take this opportunity to get the viewers benefit from yourself to gain knowledge on the benefits of fasting, Sheikh. MashaAllah, Jazakallah khair. I'm honored for that. Jazakallah khair. My pleasure, Sheikh. So when we're, when we're saying the philosophy of fasting, why, why do we follow the, the, the actual lunar calendar rather than the normal calendar? Some people say we must follow the lunar calendar or the, sun, the, 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 the other calendar. Wh which is the correct one? Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. I guess, Brother Rafi, that uh, you are uh, choosing this topic, which is uh, uh, related to the moon sighting, because we mm -hmm. are just starting the month of Ramadan, inshallah. Uh, tomorrow will be the beginning of the month of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, uh, because of this, we need to know how uh, we start our fasting uh -huh. and how we end our fasting. Okay. Um, See, this is a, a very important point. From an Islamic perspective, Allah Jalla wa Ala wants us to follow certain symptoms that can be understood by the vast majority of people. Okay. That's why the Prophet Sallallahu said, Inna ummatun ummiyya. We are an ummah that is illiterate. It doesn't mean that the Prophet Sallallahu promote illiteracy. No. He, the Prophet Sallallahu said that, the standard of our ummah can be understood by anyone, okay. uh, whether highly educated mm. or uh, not educated at all. This is one thing. The other thing is that the Prophet ﷺ said that we are relying on simple okay. phenomena that can be understood by everyone right. and we don't want to go beyond that. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this is the, the philosophy of the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. And that's why, from an Islamic perspective, the beginning of each calendar month uh, mm. is based on the moon sighting, okay. generally speaking. And we all know hadith Ibn Umar, hadith Abi Huraira, many a hadith, and one hadith that uh, summarizes all of this hadith, when the Prophet ﷺ said, Fast when you sight the moon, the okay. new moon, and end your fast when you sight the new moon. Okay. And if it is a cloudy, you cannot see it for whatever reason, mm. then complete the count of Sha'ban 30 days. Right. Now, just before getting into this point, it is true that this is the criteria, and it is a matter that all scholars from all countries uh, throughout our Islamic history mm. accepted this as the criteria for the beginning of the month, right. which is the moon sighting. Okay. Uh, however, I would like to uh, pinpoint a very important, significant point regarding this, which is that this criteria, the Prophet wasallam addressed the people of authority to use this criteria. Mm. 
So as the Prophet ﷺ told us that there are the people of authority, Ahlul Halli wal Aqd, or uh, the people in charge of the Muslim affairs, Ulil right. Amr, and the rest of the people. So the Prophet ﷺ guide the people of authority, the people who can decide when the month starts and when the month ends, okay. to follow this criteria to follow this guideline which is what sumu li ru'yatihi wa aftiru li ru'yatihi fast when you sight the moon and end your fast when you sight the new moon right uh, and then the second criteria if it is cloudy and you cannot see it you cannot sight the new moon then complete the count of sha'ban 30 days 30 days so this criteria is given to the people of authority Okay. So the people of the authority will use this. However, the rest of the people, and this is a, an important point to be understood by our viewers, okay. the rest of the people have to follow another criteria that the Prophet ﷺ told us, which is what Hadith Abi Huraira in Sunan al-Tirmidhi, that the Prophet ﷺ said, the day of fasting is when you all fast. And the day you break the fast or you end the fast is the day when you all end the fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, and the day of sacrifice is when you all sacrifice. What does that mean? The term, at Tirmidhi, the one who recorded this hadith, one of the greatest scholars, he died in the uh, end of the third century, Hijra century, he said that. Uh, this hadith was the criteria that has been used by most of the scholars that the person will follow the vast majority of Muslims around him. So this criteria should be used by lay people okay. or people who are under the authority of other Muslims. Right. What does that mean? <laughs> it means that we have two criteria. Mm -hmm. The main criteria is citing the moon, but who decides that the moon has been cited? Who decides is the people of authority. So they have to follow what? Sumu li ru'yati wa aftaru li ru'yati. Fast when you sight the moon and break your fast when you sight the new moon. Right. But for the rest of the people, what is the criteria? The criteria is follow the rest of the ummah. Follow the rest of the ummah. If the whole ummah is united mm -hmm. and they follow one opinion, then you have to follow that opinion. Right. If Muslims in your country uh, are united uh, either under one authority, okay. they have uh, an emir or a king or a president or whatever, then you need to follow the opinion that has been endorsed by the people in charge. If there is no single authority in charge of the Muslim affairs, then follow the fast is when you all fast, when most of the Muslims around you fast. So as you can see here, there are two different criteria that do not contradict each other. They work hand in hand and they complement each other. Right. The moon sighting from one side and another criteria for the rest of the people. Okay. Now, subhanAllah, Brother Rafi, if you look at this, you will see that it is something perfect. And this shows not the philosophy of fasting only, but the philosophy of Sharia okay. in general. Right. Uh, from one angle, when the Prophet ﷺ said, uh, fast when you see the moon. Mm -hmm. Now this criteria, as we said, it is a simple, straightforward criteria that can be adopted by everyone and there will be no dispute about it. That's why a man came to the Prophet ﷺ and he said that I have cited the moon, Ya Rasulullah. The Prophet ﷺ asked him, do you believe in Allah? Do you believe in me? And the man said, yes. So the Prophet ﷺ said, Bilal, you know the, 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 the caller, uh, Bilal, make an uh, announcement that the people must fast tomorrow. Right. So very simple, straightforward, no need for complications, no need to differ on it as it is happening now mm -hmm. in the Muslim world in the Muslim world, as you are aware of, of course. Uh, that uh, people go for moon sighting, other people in the same country, maybe in the same locality, they go for what? For calculation yes. or observatory. And then the calculation people differ. 
whether this calculation uh, is the correct one or the other calculation is the correct one and so on and so forth. And it, is, uh, it becomes an issue of disagreement. Mm -hmm. While, as we will see maybe in the near future, that sure. one of the main aims of fasting is to unite the Ummah. Okay. But now, this issue of moon sighting became an issue to disunite the Ummah. Yes, yes, I, I agree with uh, you there, Sheikh Aytham. One of the things I'd like to ask you regarding this, because coming from the UK myself, there's two opinions on when to fast. We have, um, shall I call Saudi Arabia, when are they fasting? So if I'm in the UK, let's say right now, when should I fast according to Saudi Arabia time or to the UK time? Yeah, this is, this is the point that we are talking yes. about. It, it creates sort of disagreement mm -hmm. between between Muslims but if we understand what we uh, if we understood what we have been talking about yes. the two criteria and we understood that there is consensus between all Muslim scholars uh, mm. uh, on those two criteria right which is what the people in charge of the Muslim affairs mm. or the Muslims affairs they uh, should follow the first criteria which is what uh, site when you uh, or fast when you sight the new moon. Of course. Stop fasting when you sight the new moon. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, the rest of the people should follow those people, should follow their decision. Mm. And uh, provided that their decision has been accepted by the vast majority of scholars. Of course. As we said, very simple, straightforward, no need for disagreements and uh, so on. And see, as we said about uh, fasting uh, based on uh, natural phenomena, okay. you can say. There is another important uh, philosophy out of it, okay? Right. Which is what? That Allah Jalla wa ala does not want to disattach us from observing His creation. Understand. And Allah Jalla wa ala does not want to, uh, that His creation just follow technology. Mm -hmm. and what they can come up with. Allah Jalla wa ala wants them to be linked Definitely. to the whole universe. And that's why, you know, in the Quran, Allah Jalla wa ala recommended us and commanded us to what? To see uh, roof al-ard, to, to go and ponder yes. and reflect. Inna fi khalq al-samawati wal-ardi wa akhtilaf al-layli wa al-nahari la-ayatin li'ulil al-baab. So in, in the creation of heavens, mm -hmm. earth, the alternation of uh, nights and days, what ayat, ayat, signs, for those who what? For those who think. Of course. أَفَلَمْ يَسِيرُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ فَتَكُونَ لَهُمْ قُلُوبٌ Don't they travel? Of course. Thank you very much, Sheikh. That's all we have time for right now. We're just going to take a quick break. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after this short break. Slam walikum. Welcome, O Ramadan. You are honored, O month of the Quran. You are honored, O month of the Quran. Slam walikum, and a very warm welcome back to the philosophy of fasting. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. All praise is due to Allah, and all praise go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad, the last prophet and messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Well, of course, we have Dr. Sheikh Hadam al al dad joining us in the studio. Salaamu alaikum, Dr. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you so much for joining us in the studio. Jazakallah khair. Well, we're talking about the philosophy of fasting and we were just talking about the moon sightings and we were talking uh, um, previously um, on the first part of the show regarding the, the, the benefits of being united on when to fast in all the countries. So I just want to pick up on this, Doctor, by start by saying we want to unite as Muslims. This is our ultimate goal, to be ultimate one nation. So how can we be united in the world, even in a non-Muslim world? How can I act in a, in a non-Muslim country? I'm from the UK, obviously. So how can I show people, please come to Islam on fasting? How can I say, look, there's no difference between Muslims? 
Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah. This is a, a very important point, and mm. this is part of the wisdom behind fasting. Yes. Of course, when we talk about philosophy of fasting or wisdom, mm -hmm. more or less they are the same, exactly. philosophy or wisdom. Um, I see, we mentioned that the, the first criteria that is uh, the criteria that should be followed by the people in charge okay. is what? Citing the new moon. Mm -hmm. And the other criteria which should be followed by the rest of the people is what? Is uh, following the rest of the ummah. Yes. Or for following the rest of the community around you. Okay. Now, this is a direct instruction from the Prophet wasallam. So we are fasting with the people because this, what the Prophet wasallam said, uh, the fast is when you all fast. Okay. However, uh, there is other the other benefit which you just pointed out, which I agree with you, that um, we have to show kind of unity yes. in such matters, uh, such matters that are considered to be Islamic symbols mm -hmm. related to uh, the, the, the main symbols of Islam. Uh, we have to be united on those symbols such as the beginning of fasting, the end of fasting, the Eid itself, yes, the Hajj. Okay, we have to be united on these exactly. things. If we cannot be united as a Ummah globally, at least we should be united in our localities or in our countries. Okay. For example, Muslims in the UK or at least in London or big cities, they should be united on one opinion. Of course. Not uh, as we have seen in, in some uh, years that in one house some people are fasting and the other people are not fasting. Of course, Sheikh, I, I just must stop you there to, to say, you know, I want to pick up on that point. This actually happened to myself coming from the UK, the first Ramadan that I had, I, you know, I, I was living in a Muslim community, alhamdulillah. We were fasting, next door weren't fasting and we were like, what what's happening why are you not fasting it's not the day when do you celebrate your Eid tomorrow you, you celebrate yours today what why why is it so significant to be united why is the the point of everyone must separate because uh, these are symbols mm -hmm. and those symbols we have to be united on those symbols okay. see from an Islamic perspective let us be practical Islam allows a room of disagreement between people or allow different versions to be adopted in certain acts right. on certain statements or maybe certain activities in general. Sometimes I pray with my hands raised, you do not raise your hands. Okay, okay this is an acceptable variation. Uh, you know, uh, I, we read uh, the Iqama of Salah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an Muhammad Rasulullah. Some other people read it with Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. So these variations are all acceptable. Right. And such disagreement or such variations or differences can be seen as healthy disagreements. Of course, I agree. Uh, because it gives a room of of uh, of different cultures to adopt uh, different opinions uh, based on different circumstances, mm. provided that those opinions are considered to be genuine Islamic opinions that are rooted in Quran and Sunnah. Great, I but, agree. Uh, but uh, there are some differences that cannot be acceptable. Okay. And that's why uh, Umar ibn Abdul Aziz, the great scholar and the great uh, Khalifa of mm. Muslims, he said, I don't prefer red camels or humrun ni'am, the red camels, the valuable camels, over the disagreement of the Sahaba. Right. So he was happy to see that there are uh, many disagreements between the Sahaba on minor issues. Mm -hmm. But as you rightly said that there are issues that we cannot disagree on, such as what? such as the beginning of Ramadan mm -hmm. and, the end of, uh, and the end of Ramadan, at least in our locality, at least in our country. And this disagreement cannot be resolved except if we follow the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam who said, 
fast when you all fast. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you are in the UK. You travel just, uh, for example, you travel today okay. uh, to, to, uh, from Egypt to the UK. Mm -hmm. And uh, tomorrow is Ramadan in the UK, in, in Egypt. Maybe uh, in the UK it is not. So what are you going to do when you travel to the UK and they have a different Ramadan? Mm. Then you follow the locality there. Right. So at least you are united with the people around you. Yes. Okay. So there, there will be community cohesion okay. there. But the, the, the Ummah cohesion has not yet been established because of the political differences between the leaders of the Muslim countries, unfortunately. Okay. Yes. Otherwise, the ideal situation is to have the whole Ummah united on one day. It is true that there is an opinion that says if the Ummah is, uh, uh, is, is, is spread uh, globally mm -hmm. and there are parts that cannot be uh, uh, there are uh, remote parts from the ummah then this part can follow one opinion and the other part can follow another opinion they can uh, fast on this day and the other part can fast on the other day but not like Definitely. your case your neighbor is fasting on the other day no this is totally un-islamic and it sends a wrong message to uh, the outer community if we are living in a non-Muslim uh, uh, country. I definitely understand. We're a bit pushed for time right now, Doctor. However, I just want to pick up. How can we unite ourselves with the non-Muslims in the UK or any Western country? For example, we're in the UK right now and we want to fast. And we want to show the people, please come to Islam if you want to fast. How, how can I tell them, please do this, do this? Well, how can we advise them? Because I was lost in the UK. I mean, I'm a white British man. Who do I go and turn to? Who, who do yeah. we turn to for this yes. information? This is a very practical uh, question. Yes. Uh, we make it simple. Mm -hmm. And I always make it simple to people in the UK or other places. Yes. Because some people do ring from other countries course, and they are yes. confused. Yes. As you said. Totally. The other day they were ringing from Holland and uh, I think from another country and they split. Yes. Some people, as you said, were following Saudi Arabia mm. and some people were following other countries. I said to them, follow the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu What is it? Mm. Look at it. the vast majority around you. Mm. What are they following? Mm -hmm. And follow it. Is it. Yes. That's it. So this, you will go with the sunnah of the hadith that has been mentioned, that we just mentioned, as-sawmu yawma tasumun as well as what you will feel the unity with the rest of the Muslims or with the vast majority of Muslims. Of course. There will be some odd people in any community. There will be odd people. We need to work slowly, slowly yes. on these things in order to, you know, remove these differences between among uh, ourselves. Never give up on them. Always make dawa to them. Yeah, Allah. definitely, definitely. Of course. Well, thank definitely. you so much for joining us in the studio today. We really Jazak appreciate Allah it. Allah khair. Is that this is a very important and informative discussion regarding new sighting or fast when everyone around you fast. Of course. Thank you so much. So, viewers at home, I guess we've learned today the philosophy of fasting and the moon sightings. So, if you want to actually join us next time, until next time, we leave you in the safe care of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, O Ramadan. You are honored, O month of the Quran.